Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Sonali. Today's video is a Black Friday haul and I'm so excited. I've been waiting to open these packages. I got home yesterday from all the travel in December. Lots of craziness, but I'm glad to be home for like a couple days and then I go back to Georgia for the holidays. We have clothes. We have one kitchen appliance that I'm really excited about. Um, and just beauty products too. So let's get started because I have a lot to unbox. I got a few things at Nordstrom. So we'll start with that first. I'm currently filming this on December 11th, I'm pretty sure. And it's been a while since Black Friday. So I'm honestly not even sure what was discounted and how much because especially on Nordstrom, I saw a couple things that were on sale and then the other things were like just things I wanted. Um, but I saw this sweater and I thought it was really nice and I'm just like all about investing in like nicer quality sweaters but I got it in an extra large I did think it was going to be a little bit thicker but it would be good for layering so I'm going to try it on and if I don't like anything like I can always return it I'm hoping here's a beauty product that I'm restocking this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish powder I'm obsessed with this powder it is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder and it literally makes you look like you don't have pores the one thing I hate about this product is that it is expensive and I can hit pan really easily but I swear to god it is so worth it because it just makes you look like a porcelain doll so very excited to be restocking that got another beauty product this is one of my favorite lip liners from Mac it's in the color cork and it's just like a brown lip liner I'll try to swatch it for you guys I don't know if that will be focused let's see can you see that it's just like the perfect lip liner for like a more pale pink like liquid lip or a lipstick so love this lip liner i got these cozy pants i saw them online and i was like okay those look like super freaking comfortable and they're just from the um what's it called they're from the bp line i got a large i'm pretty sure like bp's like nordstrom's um what's it called brand but they were on sale and I was like okay I can never have enough comfy pants I don't know why but they're like my favorite things to get into after a long day shower and put on your comfy pants and a big t-shirt it's like the best feeling then I got this beauty blender pack I'm pretty sure this was like $30 maybe and it comes with two beauty blenders a little holder like a little ice cream cone holder for your beauty blender and then also like a bar of soap to wash your beauty blender so I thought that was a great deal if you've been using the same beauty blender for a little too long now is your reminder to buy a new beauty blender because I'm pretty sure Sephora is doing a 20% off discount code like a one-time 20% off I'm not sure how long it goes till but for me I use like two different beauty blenders so this was like the perfect little pack so weird it like shipped with the hanger on it this is a good american bodysuit and i've never purchased anything from the brand i've always heard such good things about it so i wanted to try it myself um so it's kind of like that um snap buttons over here it's really thick it's really good quality and like i would hope so because it wasn't super cheap i personally love bodysuits and i think they're great for layering i do not know why i choose to film videos at this time because the sun always comes in like really strong and I don't have curtains, so I need to do something about it. But we have a big box and I cannot tell where this is from, but I have a feeling it's shoes. These boots are from Sam Edelman. This is such a fancy box. I actually purchased them off of Amazon. I will try to link everything down below, even if it's not on sale still. These had a really big discount on them and I have been like eyeing some boots like these for so long. So this is what they look like. I'm pretty sure they're waterproof. Yeah. So that's really cool. I'm very excited to style this. You guys know I love my neutrals, so I got two neutral boots. These are more edgy, and then the other neutral boots I'll show you guys are more of a Western style. While we're talking about boots, I thought I would open the next pair, which are Vince Camuto's. I think two years ago, I purchased some black booties from Vince Camuto. I'm not sure if it was this brand or another one, but I feel like it's this one. They're stunning. They're everything. I love them. Oh my goodness, okay. So these are the booties. Like I said, they're definitely a more Western style. I live in Austin, Texas. I thought I'd be perfect. And also cowboy boots are just so on trend right now. I mean, not that these are cowboy boots, but they definitely do like look like they fit into that trend. I wanted tall boots, but I didn't want just like the normal ones that like go all the way up to your thighs. So I thought these would be a good thing to try out. And I'm pretty sure these had a really good discount too. This is a big one and it's probably one of my most exciting ones because I have wanted to 
purchased from this brand for a very long time and I told myself I would wait till after I had my breast reduction to get some stuff from here and it is aloe um, I well I guess I got like a shirt um, and one like one PJ kind of set from them right after my breast reduction but I did want to wait till Black Friday to go a little crazy so that is what I did. First, I got an aloe beanie. It has the brand name printed, almost like those stony clover letters. You can never have enough beanies during the winter. I feel like I'm wearing the same one like every day, but I love the beanie look. Then I got some aloe socks. I actually just um, wore my set active socks that I got. Um, their Black Friday sale, I like bought way before Black Friday. Like they started so much earlier. So I put it in one of my vlogs if you guys are interested in a set active haul but i got like socks like that from set active and they are so cute i love styling those so let's get into the apparel oh i guess i got some more aloe socks first apparel piece is this bra i honestly can't even tell what color this is like i kind of want to say it's like a very very light purple or a white or like a weird white i don't know let's see what is it? Oh yeah, it's white, but it definitely looks like a purple, which is weird, but I feel like this would make the girls look pretty good. So I got that twist top thing or like the scrunchy thing. I made a Christmas wish list and ended up purchasing like half the things for myself on Black Friday. And one of the things I really wanted was sweat sets, just like matching sweat sets. And I did have to buy a lot of these separately. Like it wasn't like a whole sweat set in one. But I guess that's better just because if you wanted to get different sizes, you could. This is just a gray zip up hoodie. Nothing too fancy about it, but I thought it would be a good staple. And for this sweater, I got the gray sweat shorts. It has like a little aloe sign right there. Super cute. I'm going to have to try all this on and make sure everything fits correctly. Are my eyes playing games on me? This also looks just purple, but it says it's white. Like what? Anyways. I thought this would be really cute. I've always wanted like a really fitted athletic jacket. And you know me, I had to get it in a neutral color. So this is contour jacket. And I think this is gonna be perfect if I wanted to work out outside, which I don't see myself doing. But you know, hopefully an epiphany happens on December 31st. And I'm like, wow, I really wanna go on an outdoor run. <laughs> I really do need to get back into the health grind though because I'm not feeling like amazing about myself lately, but I am gonna have a lot more time for myself in the new year, which I'm so, so excited and thankful for. Um, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that very, very soon. Uh, okay, so for the next thing, I got, what's this color? Coco, Coco sweats. Look how cute. There's nothing fancy about it, but I feel like when it's all on and it's like matching, it's gonna look so good. And it also has this like aloe um, silver thing. For those sweatpants, I got this sweatshirt and obviously it's in the color Coco. It's the Accolade Crew Neck Pullover. Um, and I do love like crew necks more than hoodies usually just because I feel like hoodies are just so heavy on the back of my neck and I'm like, eh. This is the color ivory and it definitely looks like more whiter than this purple looking thing, but we'll, we'll put it on and, and check it out. <laughs> so this one, I got a hoodie just because I wanted to switch it up. I feel like I have a lot of nude like crew necks, so I wanted to just get a hoodie and thank God this one is like not that heavy of a hood so hopefully it won't do what i just said it would probably do um and i think i got this one in a size xl um because i just like love that baggy sweat set look then i got the same accolade sweatpants in ivory i'm like obsessed with this ivory color though i mean i always am i feel like i always like go for the neutrals and the whites and everything then i got an aloe scrunchie very cool um, I'm just like obsessed with scrunchies lately because they don't leave creases in your hair, especially the silk ones. I'm going to have to try that out and let you guys know, but the silk ones are so freaking good and I always have to sleep in a silk scrunchie now. Aloe's whole website was like 20% off and maybe some things were like 30% off and then with your order, 
I don't know how much you had to spend, but I got a little aloe tote bag for free. This was like just a gift that they added on. And I'm so excited about this because I went into the aloe store. I can't remember if it was like at the Grove or the one here in Austin, but I saw a girl walking out with one of these bags and I just thought everyone got like one of these bags, like if you purchased anything. So I walked in there and I wanted to get like um, the aloe hat. I have a aloe white trucker hat that I love. And I thought I was just gonna get this like tote bag. I don't know why I thought that because this is a really cool, like nice tote bag. So anyways, I ended up not getting the tote bag and I was so sad. I was like, what, why? But yeah, I get it now. You probably have to spend quite a bit of money to um get the free tote so that's everything i got from aloe so freaking excited about all this stuff and now on to the next box i have no idea what this next box is so let's see oh skins oh my goodness they feel so soft and these came in just in time i was like unpacking from my trips and got rid of literally half of my underwear drawer and my sock drawer because I just like want matching socks and underwear that actually fits me. I personally love a good full coverage underwear. So I just got a bunch of these and I really like high-waisted ones. So hopefully those are really comfortable. And then I got the infamous Skims robe. I feel like the one that's like Sherpa is definitely more famous, but I wanted to get this one. Some of the colors weren't on sale, but this is one of the colors that was, and I just thought I would get me a Skims robe while they had their sales going for Black Friday. It's very soft and very luxurious feeling. And speaking of super soft and luxurious feeling stuff, I splurged, I mean like I did a little damage this Black Friday as you can tell, but this next package was probably the last Black Friday thing I did like at midnight, like I was just like, should I do it? I've been hearing such good things about this brand. It's Black Friday, they're having a sale. So I did it. I got some stuff from Everjay. If you guys have never heard of this brand, they're known for the comfiest, softest PJs and I've never felt them before. So this is my first impression of the material. Are they really that soft? We'll see. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're really soft. Oh my God. They're going to be so comfy. I love this. Like, I don't even know what material this is. I wonder if I can see. Okay. It says 95% modal and 5% spandex. I don't really know what modal is, but this is very, very soft. So first off, I got this sleep shirt. Kind of like a sleep shirt dress thing um and it has this like baby pink outline with the heathered gray and has a little pocket and everything very very cute next up is a romper and it is also in a gray color it has like adjustable straps and it has these like cinches on the side which i thought were really cute and then the legs are just kind of like a jogger kind of like a harem pant almost i feel like i would definitely wear those to just like run errands or do housework and stuff like that and then I'm pretty sure this was on major sale, so that's why I got it because I don't usually get colors, but I got like a whole PJ set. It's the same material, very soft, and then I got the PJ pants. I do wish the band on these were a little bit thicker, but these ones are just like a flare, like normal PJ pants. And I love like the white outlining. I think it's so cute and super just like classy. The next thing I got is this ivory set. So it's just kind of like a long sleeve pullover type thing. The material on this is a bit different. I guess I would say it's more like a velour kind of feeling. And then these are the pants, same color. And then they look like this at the end. So it's not flare and not like super tight jogger. I am stoked about these PJs and I'm very excited to try them on. I thought it was only appropriate to come in the kitchen and show you guys the last thing I got from Black Friday since it is a kitchen appliance. So let's open this bad boy up. I've been needing one of these for a while now and I saw this when I was like researching um, and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever and I love me some kitchen gadgets. This was on pre-order for a while, but I guess on Black Friday they restocked, so I snagged one. <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't know if you can tell what it is by the packaging, but it is a juicer. And it is a fancy schmancy juicer. We have all the little pieces, which I'm definitely gonna have to read the instructions on how to um, set all this up. I had to get this juicer in the color white because you guys know 
Love me some white in my kitchen. Let me just build this really quick and come back to show you guys what it looks like. This is the Nala J2 juicer. It's kind of heavy. I saw a bunch of videos of this juicer and I thought it was super cool because you don't have to like sit here and feed the juicer your vegetables, fruits, and all that because a lot of juicers only have a spout like kind of like this big. So you always have to like cut them up really small. But this one, you literally put everything in at once. You can leave this alone for a little bit while it's juicing and then you can open up the spout and then the juice will just flow right out. It also has these containers. I've been looking for a juicer for a while now because I stupidly got rid of my other juicer when I was moving. I think I like accidentally put it in the giveaway pile, but honestly not really complaining because I'm really, really excited about this specific juicer. So I'm gonna be making a lot of green juice in the new year. I really wanna try it out this weekend, but I don't know if I'll have time before I go back to Georgia, but hopefully I do. So that is it, my Black Friday haul. I guess I'll just close it out in the kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In case you guys are interested in gifting any of these products for your friends, family, or even yourself so definitely go check that description box out and if you're not already following me on instagram go ahead and do so so that you can see how i style all of the apparel that i just got it is so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in the next video bye